after reaching hotel first thing i took a shower and guys here can you see uh, just above the wash basin this mirror is not fogged up it's so thoughtful and technology what to say it is japan hey everyone welcome to utopia creating the paradise how are you all guys i hope you all are fine and safe at your place so it's afternoon here in tokyo and we decided to roam in tokyo city so we all are ready and going out now today rainy day here in tokyo and guys here look there is a plastic bag to keep our umbrella so thoughtful so no wonder japan is clean Today we have booked a customized walking tour of about 4 hours so it's 2 pm now so 2 to 6 uh, this person as a guide he will be with us and uh, first he will take us to world's busiest pedestrian crossing so to reach there we have to take metro so we are heading towards metro station Japan 7-Eleven and this family mart is very uh, common so we just uh, came across to this family mart and we just discussing we can buy some snacks or water before uh, going to hotel So now we reached uh, to nearest metro station. First thing we will buy card here, and uh, it is Suica card. Uh, we need this for metro station, also for uh, some payment in um, supermarkets and pharmacy, etc. Guys, look at this metro map. It is so, oh my God, so many metro lines, so many routes. so this is suica card it is a prepaid money card we can use for metro supermarkets and even for vending machine etc everything is systematic automated and everyone try to follow rules so now we are going to catch metro so here comes metro and uh, we will go to shibuya where there is a world's busiest pedestrian crossing we'll cross that and then we'll visit some uh, anime shops so let's go we need to change lane here so in between we got down and we changed lane to reach shibuya station before this trip i was just uh, going through some videos and reading about japanese and japanese people are known for their kindness and also i read that they always think of others and i started experiencing it you know look on this escalator all are standing at one side and they kept another side open for those who are in rush they can use so it's like no obstacle 
this is a very small thing but i feel uh, it uh, makes a lot of difference i felt quite impressive you know i mean at public places while outside who thinks of other we just run and we just in our own world but i felt this is really uh, you know impressive See guys, here again on escalator, they are uh, standing on one side, and those who are in hurry, they are just going by other side. So I think this is like how even populated country, but everything is running smoothly. Okay, now we reached here Shibuya Scramble Crossing, or commonly known as the Shibuya Crossing, is a very popular scramble crossing. It is world's busiest pedestrian crossing with as many 3,000 people crossing at a time. Yes, it is featured in many movies and TV shows. You must guys have seen uh, in Fast and Furious, Alice in Borderland, and Resident Evil, Lost in Translation, etc. So now let's see, uh, let's experience how it is going to be. We are so excited, and here we go. So this is how actually Shibuya Crossing is. Now let's walk on Shibuya Crossing. OMG, we are just walking, walking, and I think we have to remember which side and exactly where we have to go, or else it is like you know puzzle. You just walk and so many direction, and all are walking on their own uh, direction. But it's fun and a different experience. So now we are exploring this place. This is quite a happening place. Very colorful, lighty, and so much to eat. Shop, everything is there. so we are here in uh, anime shop anime is like specific type of animation style and that is very popular in japan uh, it is actually meant for every age group and i think you must have aware about this these pokemon naruto death note etc all these are anime and these are very famous in japan wanted some uh, coffee so from vending machine we are just taking coffee and juice this place is shopping hub all branded outlets are here and we are heading towards now nintendo shop This place is really good for those who want to shop uh, like um, anime related things and many many places are there where you can buy uh, anime related things but this is quite famous in this Shibuya area
and here comes it is Nintendo. All games were there. Kids were wanted to spend more time, but somehow we convinced them, and then they realized they are hungry. So we left that place. Now going towards uh, some uh, famous place to have ramen. So again, let's cross this Shibuya scramble crossing. station and look here we spotted these girls wearing kimono their traditional dress as we all know these people japanese people are very quiet and kind but yes during like this uh, metro see now this is rush hour and no chaos nothing it's so quiet here very peaceful Now we reach to a restaurant. It is a quite small and compact restaurant, but they are very famous for ramen. You all know ramen is a Japanese famous dish, and it is uh, soupy noodles basically. And uh, after spending time and uh, rainy weather, like we enjoyed ramen, and we are struggling to have this with chopsticks, but we enjoyed it. And after having food, uh, our guide he left because uh, we took only four hours. So now we are going towards our hotel. Before going hotel, we are just buying these uh, local sweets and snacks just in case if we feel hungry. And guys, this is how we spent our first day in uh, Japan. I hope you enjoyed. We enjoyed a lot and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and uh, take care. Bye bye.